Good evening, everyone. We are here with creative partner Jenny Prosser for tonight's crafting. She is going to be uh, showcasing the new uh, designer template accessory set Laurel Crescents. Uh, she's specifically using the new Laurel Crescents to create a boy themed scrapbooking layout. Uh, so it's a new, uh, different way to use Laurel Crescents. And then she also has a cute girl themed layout in the back of her screen there uh, for those uh, asking and she's going to show a bunch of design uh, things that she's doing with it. Jenny, if you want to introduce yourself. Hi there, I'm Jenny Prosser and I live in Northern California and I've been with Kiwi Lane since 2016 and I enjoy doing these lives to share with you uh, the different techniques and the way that I do my three-dimensional work on my layouts and so i'm going to be showing you some of the new releases and how i've used them <clears throat> are we ready to get started yeah it'll be super exciting i do see some comments do you see the comments on your device as well i haven't found you yet down there okay i just shared it over to play to create group Let's see. Hi, Katie and Kathy. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Laura. Thanks for joining us. If you haven't yet uh, taken a look at our new release products, we did do a release in um, February. The link will be right here in the chat on Facebook. Uh, this is uh, featuring the new Rings 2.0 from that new release, the Laurel Crescents, uh, some DIY styles items, and then we also have triangles and thank you kit on that landing page as well uh, for you uh, to look at. Items, and then we also have okay, Jenny, did you get Okay, I'm looking for my comments still. I found you. Okay. Here we go. Hi, Deborah. There's Deborah and Ruth. Marsha, Gina, Laura. Okay, I got quite a few people here. Hi, girls. Glad to have you join me. Perfect. I think we're, I think we're ready to get started. Yep, Jenny. So I'm going to uh, head out. If you need anything, let me know. Okay, I will. Thank you so much again. Yep. See you later. Bye. Bye. So tonight, what I have <clears throat> is pictures of my two grandsons and they're five by sevens, but I'm going to trim them down. So if you have uh, five by sevens and you never know how to use them, you don't have to use the full size. You can highlight them like I'm going to do here and just trim them down because usually part of it is negative space or like here <clears throat> on Cooper James, he's got all this shoulder here that isn't necessary. We could take part of that off and his cute little face is still there. So what I've got here is rings. This is Laurel Crescent three of four. It's the one with the arrows. And then if you have scenic route one and two, um, that's what this is here. You'll see that it is about the same as the arrows here. So I'm going to use those. And I had purchased a long time ago this um, title that says picture day. Now that it would be just as cute without that once the ring is in color with the paper or you could put their name, cut out their name if you have a cricket um, and you could put the name or you could write the name and the school year, name of the school. The thing about rings that you can do is you can write around the ring and it looks really cute. <clears throat> over here, over my shoulder, I have another layout. Um, you can see part of it and it's a girl layout. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and work on the boys and then I'm going to switch. I have two um, <clears throat> scrap and easels and I'm going to switch them and bring up the other one. The other one's all cut out, but I can show you um, how you can switch it around. So if you're doing a girl one, just pull out your girl paper and start working with me. And then when I switch, you'll be able to see what other 
template she made. I hope that's not too confusing. You're gonna hear my bird as usual through the wall. Um, she's in there doing the ring a ding a ding of the phone because she thinks I'm talking on the phone. So we're gonna start with, um, it's the older Kiwi paper, <clears throat> Live Life. And it was before they had the Kiwi kits, it's when they just sold the Kiwi paper. And the one that I'm gonna use first is um, red on one side. Oh, it's called straight arrow, how funny, and I'm using arrows, and blue on the other. So if we take that paper and we take our rings, just like we did last week, and we place them on here within each other, now, since I'm cutting into the paper anyhow, I'm gonna cut all four of them because we, I can always use them on another layout. And that'll give us the opportunity to decide if we want the red on one side or the blue on the other, depending on the ring. <clears throat> now, as long as I can remember how to put it back together. Let me get my pencil. And I can't trace over here because I have other layouts. I'm gonna to try to trace, trace it here. So I don't know how the weather has been where everybody else is located, but we had rain the other night, just enough so my husband didn't have to water the garden. And today we had beautiful sun. So it's been a little of each. I'm by the San Francisco Bay, so we get a lot of dew in the morning and moisture, so we don't have to worry too much about watering all the time. The succulents love it here. Okay, <clears throat> so those were our rings. I'm gonna set them over here and start cutting them. Um, <clears throat> I was asking about the video from last week and some of you missed, oh, those are the scissors that are shot. Let me get another pair. I have this one pair that I keep wanting to retire but I haven't done it yet. Um, you wanted to watch the replay of the video? And I wasn't sure how to do that. So you go on to Facebook, onto Play to Create. And at the top, she says there's different little tabs. And there's a tab that says events. And if you choose that, then it'll list the past events. And you'll be able to find mine and be able to watch the one that I did with um, the garden. Um, what was it called? live, live, live life, something like that. I'm gonna look over at the comments in just a second after I cut this first circle here. Now, um, you can slice in like we did before the circles because we're gonna hide them with arrows and, and other things. So you don't have to worry too much. The title will cover the one up here. Let's see what everybody has to say. Can I sharpen the scissors? Let's see. Glendella, do you take them to a scissor place? I, I've never tried to sharpen these before. I just use them around the household, give them to my husband. Um, whatever, and just buy another pair. They last for, for a very, very long time. I'm not complaining to, you know, I mean, I probably had this pair a year or two, but they do get dull cutting um, paper. If you go to cut a pair of some ribbon, forget it, it won't cut at all.
Okay, we got our first one almost done. One. <clears throat> I think this is the one I want to do red. Let's see how that works. Oh, the big one was over here, huh? So this is going to be blue. Let's see if I can remember how I had it set up. I think I had the big one over there and the small one over here. But The hardest thing I told my daughter, um, is, um, following, oh, Glendale is in Riverside. She's not too far away. Well, California, everything's far away. It's probably seven hours, I guess. I go down to Huntington Beach all the time, <clears throat> and I take my girlfriend, who's niece lives in Riverside. Her niece drives from Riverside to Huntington and picks up her aunt and then we reverse it on the way back. So Eva gets to go see her relatives and I get to go see my girlfriend. So we're just, she's my co-pilot. It's a boring drive all the way down five, but it's prettier since they put in the almond trees and some other of the fruits that they grow along there. Round and round we go, one more. This is gonna be a real easy, I think, layout. And we'll spend half the time on this and half the time on the girl one. So you can see how you can switch it around. If you're doing the girl one, just cut along with me and then I'll show you some of the other items that we need to get out. This is the one that's going to be red. You know, I designed these weeks in advance and then I forget what I was going to do. <clears throat> but this is going to go down here because I have this little camera down here. So the little camera can hide that. So I'm flipping this one blue to begin with. And I'm going to do this one red to begin with, and then we'll decide from there. I'm bringing this around over here. If you know you're going to put, oh, quit scooting around. Put something up here like I am, you don't even have to worry about the little slit. Okay. I think this is what I have in mind. Get me out some more. My magnets. Robin Peter for Paul. There we go. Let's go filter here. Filter for there. Okay. <clears throat> and our little camera. We'll hide that. So there's the stripe that I showed you that will complement this. We'll pick up the yellow, the blue, and the red. And the stripe is I was going to do all the arrows in the stripe, and it also complements that. <clears throat> and I think I had this up here. Again, like I said, once I take it apart, you know what I can do. So I can go over here, look at my pictures real quick while you guys are cutting. And see what I had. Oh, I have a small one. 
over there and the big one over here. See, you didn't pay attention. The small one. Here. And the big one goes here. That's up there. I knew something was wrong. Because I had him way up in the corner. Like so. The other thing is, this can really go down here. <clears throat> I used my inhaler before I got on tonight, so maybe I won't clear my throat as much. Blonde hair, I don't have blonde hair. There, now that'll co cover that, so we don't have to worry about that. But this can go right here. Now, if you bought the, if you already had the set of rings and you bought the other set of rings, you can be playing with two of them. So I'm going to come back to you in just a second. I just want to make sure I have this right. Okay, now we're back. We're in business. You can take these rings and interchange them. Not interchange them. <laughs> like that. Uh, entwine them, that's what I meant. Put them together. You just have to play with it a little once we get them. There we go. Now we're cooking. Okay, I got that. So I really didn't have any extra. So that's how I was going to do it with the two sided, two color paper. One on that side and one on this side. I'm going to trim this picture down so we can get an idea. <clears throat> so if I can get your comments back up. Oh, wax paper, aluminum foil. Okay, Josie. Los Banos is a beautiful place. Hi, Kath. Kath is always on Facebook. She does some beautiful work too. When I cut the pictures, I cut a little at a time until I get it pretty well figured out what I want. I think I'm gonna take a little bit more. Now, someone asked earlier on Facebook about prom pictures. This would work well for prom pictures when you see the girl one. Because if you got five by seven pictures or you had uh, four by six pictures you wanted to highlight, this would work good. You'll see on the other um, sample I'm going to do that they, I put two pictures in a ring. You can do that too. I only have these school pictures. I didn't get a class picture. This is all I get. I, I have to be happy with what I do get. This one daughter lives in Idaho, and I'm just happy to get anything from them. Um, if they're not scrapbookers, they just don't understand how we crave for pictures. Now, I think... But this doesn't make that much difference that I cut off part of it. And we can tuck it like that and leave part of it out, or we can tuck it all the way behind. <clears throat> and I would worry about that later. Okay, next I'm gonna look at the paper I have. Now, if you wanted to, and you have your other paper that you've picked out, which would for me would be the stripes, whatever you picked out for a third uh, color. Um, you could do another ring on there if you decided you'd rather have this, but I decided 
I was going to use the paper first with the arrows before I cut any um, rings in the stripe. So I'm going to take these two and see if this little scrap that I have here, you can see I used chevrons before with it. I love stripe paper. If I see stripe paper in bright primary colors, I just snag it. Okay, that's going to fit on there. Then I have taken these two. This is Southwest 10 and Southwest 9. And I don't think they interchange, I mean, interlink, do they? Oh, they do. Look at, I can get it all on there. Okay. So now I'm going to trace this. And I'm hoping, let me scoot this over because maybe you can't see it. Ooh. I'm hoping you can see me here. Last week I, I did it over on the TV tray, but I'm trying to do two things at one time. So after we get the paper situated, before we start putting any detail, I'm going to switch over to the burl and show you how I did that. Can you kind of give me an idea um, if you're following with these templates and with boy pictures or are some of you really needing me to show you the girl picture? Scenic route. Oh, Deborah. Huh. See, Linda's not on. It doesn't look like scenic route. What did it come in? It journey. Um, it came in some travel paper. The best thing to do is to um, see. I don't take pictures of them all like. Some people do because I use my kids up, so I have no reason to remember what they were because <laughs> um, the paper is all gone. But um, if we went on Kiwi, okay, I got that done. And Went to the digital books, I guess. You'd have to look at your digital books. It'd have to be in the last two years because I don't have any kids left from further back than that. I wish I could tell you. But I may have it over in this drawer. So let me trace this and then I'll look. Why is this not intertwining? Oh, there we go. My husband's watching his basketball. He lives and breathes basketball, college basketball. Sweet 16. I cannot stand the sounds of the squeaky tennis shoes. Okay, I'm gonna stop just a second. Well, everything out of the way. Look over here a second. Am I in this one? Aha! Okay, I lucked out. I have it. Um, scenic route came in. Enjoy the journey. That's what I said. Kiwi Club Kit 2021, uh, June. And it had, it was the one where they printed the South Dakota and North Dakota and had the wrong picture. And then it came with um, 
the uh, scenic route, it had that thing that looked like a paper airplane. And these goodies right here, and these two. And they showed that you could use it with tiny travel. See, I never used it because I haven't gone on vacation in three years. So I'm saving it. I just dropped it. I gotta pick it up so I don't roll over it. Sorry. Oh, Linda is here. And Sharon is too. Hi, girls. Linda, we were trying to figure out what scenic route came in, but I dug in my drawer and figured it out for Deborah. Okay, so I'm just cutting these little arrows. Anybody been to Hobby Lobby? Looking for my glitter pins, which I know I'll use tonight, even if it's a boy. Boys can have a little bit of glitter. Let's be careful when I cut this, Jenny, that you don't goof it up. Okay. Go here. Oh, this is cute in the stripe. This is one of my all-time favorites. Did um, you gals get the thing that asks you to vote on what kind of um, paper colors you like in your Kiwi kits? This was one of my all-time favorites because it was a bright primary. And we get the fall colors for October, September, October, November. And we need bright colors like they did the one that they just did with the hot air balloon. I thought that was cute. Um, that we can use with boys. Boys is hard to use with fall colors, I find, unless they're dressed in fall colors. My birds are being really quiet now that their dad's home because um, <coughs> They were um, really noisy a few minutes ago, but they're eating. So they had their head down in the bowl and they're quiet. Okay. It's coming together. See my comments. Everybody's quiet. Everybody's busy cutting, huh? Well, I don't think any of these scraps are going in my <laughs> in my little scrap box. These are tiny little pieces. I used the last of this when um just before the fire, I know you're probably all tired of hearing me complain about the fire, but just before the fire, I had bought, I don't remember who, about five or six sets of this Live Life bright paper. Hadn't even taken them out of the packets or anything. Then I lost it all on the fire. And, oh, I was like devastated. This was one of the first things that I said, oh, I lost all that. Money I invested in the last of those because it was discontinued. And Lindsay Smith, 
I taught a class and she had oddball pieces from about 10 sets. And she says, here, Jenny, you can have it all. Do whatever you want with it. So I ended up with lots of little pieces. Magnet. Now, by using that little bit of scrap, I'm able to have 20 of this, this whole piece. Because we have to take and do this curvature one. And I still have these little guys here. Takes a little bit longer to cut them out when you interlink them like that. Because you have to be careful not to nip into the other one. But I didn't want to waste my paper because I love this paper. What I what I told you was I every time I see a striped paper, if it's got any bright color to it or, or not, I um buy it because I Love these stripes. Got a bunch of little pieces left over. Itty bitty. Garbage can. Try to keep myself organized here. At least with this one, compared to last week, I don't have all those little tiny. Templates I have to keep track of. I thought that when we worked on last week turned out cute. Oh, I have a line through there. Did I make it longer? Oh, I did. It's supposed to stop way up here. Well, I don't know whether I'm going to or not. I could use it just like that. Might do that. <laughs> okay, I did it. What I do is my other little template. It's number ten. I got number nine. Huh. Well, see, said I didn't have a lot of little ones and lost it anyhow. It's around. Okay, let's see what the best way to do this. If I do it that way, it's striped that way. Oh, I like that. Okay, I'm going to squeeze this over in the corner the best I can. Oh, I've got it upside down. Is it going to make a difference? Oh, no, no, I don't. No, it's just not printed very dark. Okay, <clears throat> I'm talking to myself. I'm going to get it very close to the edge. Depending on what paper you use, if you're not being that frugal, it won't really matter. So I told, oh, no, I've, I've gone blank on her name. Mm -hmm. How come? Not Monica. Shoot. Well, I was asking and telling that last week we got interrupted and lost our connection. So she showed me how to put, um, notifications on. So th that should help us this time. That it won't interrupt my phone. Because not all my friends know that I 
two lives. My daughter joined us for a few minutes right when we were losing connection last week. I was so surprised because I didn't know she knew I was going to be on. So that was my other daughter that just interrupted the connection. It printed the notification, but it didn't cut us off at least. Okay, I got that all traced. Let me look and see. So what I'm trying to decide, because I hadn't thought this far in advance was, what color I wanted my camera, the one that's on the, the title is cute and bright colored and primary. But I was thinking just to be different, I might make a black one. Oh, there's that little flash thing that goes with it too. Um, with some primary color on it. I'm gonna save that piece. It's a little bit bigger. Anybody have any summer plans? This COVID starting to back off and I know um, Brandy Bacon is on a cruise right now to some exotic place where they have wasps and monkeys. I can't, can't remember if it was Bora Bora or where she is. She, um, I think she's a part-time travel agent. She does a lot of cruises, lots of cruises more than the average Jill. Oh, I got two pieces of paper out of that, two little pieces. I don't see anybody making any comments. Do I have any new comments that I'm missing, maybe? Is that still out there? I feel like I'm talking to myself. Well, I am. <laughs> A lot of little cuts, huh? I could have picked something a little easier. It's going to be so cute when we get done. What I'll do, like I said, as soon as I finish this, I'm going to go show you what I did with the girl one to change it up. I gotta kind of concentrate on this. Don't want to cut the wrong part off and have my arrow all ruined and have to cut into my paper that I'm cording. The sun on the right is Cooper James. Some people call him Coop. His whole name is Cooper James. His whole name is um, Cooper James Rumble Dillon. That's his own name. Rumble is his middle name. That's my mother's maiden name. And uh, Cooper James. So my daughter 
named him that because she thought it would be fun if he was called CJ. Very few people call him CJ and he doesn't like CJ. He likes Cooper James, even at school. Um, the other one is Sage. Sage is the one that lives in Idaho, in Sun Valley. He's a ski jumper, mountain climber, mountain biker, uh, dirt biker, motorcyclist, you name it, Sage does it. Cooper is just starting, he's seven, and uh, Sage is 13. Um, Cooper is just starting to do sports. He just finished basketball and now he's doing baseball. There we go. Now it's starting to look boyish. Bright colored arrows. <clears throat> now it's still on the page in. Oh, you know what? I wonder when I split that up if I do that. I did. Look what I found in the garbage. That's why we use the bowls. Get my bowl out. Put my template in there before it gets lost. I just thought about it. I thought, oh, I swept that right over like that. So now I have it in the bowl. I would have dumped that and I would have been very unhappy. Okay, so what we have left here is the camera. So I think I'm gonna come back to the camera. See if I have this set up the right way as I thought I could. Move my stuff around. Give me a second here. Put my fanny in the camera. Put everything away. My ring's over here. Put this one carefully. Do my replacement. Voila, as my parrot would say, voila. There we go. So, what I did here, I use. I'm going to bring this one over here so I can see. Okay, I use the same rings. But up here, where I had the picture day, I took a card from a, a title card from Kiwi Lane that said, you and me. I think it was the one that had the puzzle pieces. And I cut it inside the ring. It already had the heart printed in there. So I went off of that. And these are my two granddaughters. These are Cooper James' bigger sisters. And um, this was the evening of New Year's. I already did the other pictures with mom. Um, and these were some extras. And I just thought they were cute, the girls posing. So I decided to do a girl page. So I used three different um, papers. I used the tiny floral. I bought this a long time ago. I've had it forever. I think it was photo play. And I just bought one of each sheet. That's what I love about um, Kiwi. I used to buy two of everything. And then I'd end up with extra paper. Now I buy one because that's all it takes. Um, so I have the, the small flowers, the larger flowers, and the polka dots. This one piece I had, and it's uh, Doodlebug, I think it is. And it's check on one side and this plaid on the other. And then I had just little scraps of my paper that I dug out 
to make all my flowers. So um, I changed and used, oh, uh, no, I have this, is that? Oh, that's happy days or crusade cascades or what? Let me look and see. Oh, I think it might be that other one. Oh, it's the a la carte. It's the ripple a la carte. I lied. It's ripple a la carte that I used instead of the arrow. So you see, I used the ripple a la, a la carte instead of, let me get this out of the way, instead of the arrows. <coughs> and instead of the arrows, I replaced it with hearts and flowers. So the hearts I pulled out of, um, I think this is springtime or sweetheart. And then I used my favorite flower punch that I showed you before. And I don't think I have, oh. Glendella, have you seen me make my flowers before? I'm going to show you again, just in case, um, how I made these here. It's a flower punch from Bira Bira, B I R A B I R A. And I have it in two sizes now. I just bought what I used last week but I'll do the small one. And I just punch two of them. And I take a little piercing tool. You can use a pen or a pencil or anything you have, but this works really well. And I roll it, hold like that, and just roll it over it. So it um, bends it a little, makes it pop up. Oh, even that color would have gone good. I just grabbed that out of the, the pile of scraps. Let's see if I can get that better in there for you. Then I take my white glue, put a little in the scent. It has been uncapped today, so it's going to be hard to get out. Okay, this is a good example to show you what happens when your little bottle gets plugged. I keep these little stainless steel sewing pins. Put it in there. Pump it a couple of times. And there we go. It unplugs it. This is a one inch punch. The other one I bought is one and a half inches. And just for the half inch difference, it really makes a difference in size and I'll show you. That's the difference in the flower between the half inch and the one and a half inch, whoops. I mean the one inch, I'm sorry, the one inch and the one and a half inch, I didn't see that right. So there's the flower and then I just take a pearl or a little embellishment, a little bling, and I put it right in the center. That's what I did on those. So what I would do on this 
because I'm a matter. I've always been a matter, and I know a lot of the Kiwi um, gals, Susan and Jennifer, and all of them. They don't do a lot of matting at all. They just place their pictures like this. So you can do it either way, but I would mat those probably in a white to pick up the white here. And what I put behind here is just a flower, a flat flower that you build. You know, everybody's had them for years. And I put my little flower in the center just to give it some some pizzazz and make it a little bit bigger, like so. So that's basically all I did on that. I'm gonna go back and finish up the boy one. I have a place where I save my little things that I make that I don't use. This was left over from Christmas, a Christmas cookie. And I have a little container over here that I throw them in. Okay, I'm gonna fold this one. And go back to our original one. I hope that helped you to show you how simple those palm pictures would look very cute on that. See if I can kind of get this back in place. So we can see what we're doing. I'm gonna get out my inks. My Pencil off the table. Make sure my turntable can turn. Now I have to decide on my camera. I'm going to try it in black. See if I like it. And a little piece of white for the lens. And a little bit of red. Well, let's see what I can create here. This is the a la carte capture, it's called, the camera. Okay. And there's a couple of different ways you can do this. The easy way or the hard way. The easy way being you just trace the lens in white and not cut out the lens or you could cut out the lens and put behind it um, the white. But I'm gonna do it this way. Since we're limited on time, like so. There's that little piece there, too. And this will go there. The red I'm going to do up above. Mm, I don't know what this is called. I'm not a camera person. I don't know why. 
I am not seeing any new. Deborah, can you make a comment so I can see if my comments just aren't showing for some reason? Okay. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm just going and lightly erasing a little bit of the line. I'm taking a silver pen or my sparkly pens. And I'm going to go around the outside of the circle. I'll tell you one thing about the, doing these lives. It makes girls make me clean my um, my scrap room. I was had Windex and paper towel. And I was shining and polishing and washing off this mat and getting everything nice and clean. So it would look pretty for you. Well, I don't see any comments. I'm very nervous. Okay. Is our lens. Now we're going to do our viewfinder. I think that's what this was called, wasn't it? Such an itty bitty little piece. Little viewfinder. I'm going to do this. Okay, go ahead. Oh, this isn't sparkle. This is metallic. Oh, that's okay. I can go over it with the sparkle. I have these pins that are sparkle pins, and then I have a metallic. I grab, grab the wrong one. And let's go back over it. Get a little. Oh, there you go. Now, you know, I can't just leave it at that. I've got to take my glitter gloss. Last comment I have is from Glendella. It says she likes to drive to Las Banas. Okay, I'm going to take the glitter gloss. and brush a little over the lens. So it makes it all iridescent. -y. Oops. Oh, it's a little, oh, there it is. <clears throat> And I'm going to cut out the camera now.
okay, it's coming along. Taking my pencil marks off, putting on my lens, oh, no, you find it. Okay. I'm going to put my little, I don't know what this is up here. I think this is the thing that popped up for the flash. No. It has to go right. Oh, I like it in the black. Makes a pop. I'm going to take um, my black pen. I'm going to go over the flash pop up, as I called it. I'm not sure exactly what it was, but I'm pretty sure in the old cameras that's what it was. Up the silver again. And I'm going to go around the whole outside of the camera. That makes it pop just a little bit more. Gives a little bit more life. squeaky old chair. Yeah. Candied apple, which is a red. Start over at one minute here. Give me a second. I'm trying to see why I'm not getting comments. My iPad. I'll get rid of everything that I have open. Go back to Facebook. Search for play for to create again. Okay. See if I can find it again. Brown brandy. Okay, play to create. There we go. There I am. Okay. 
Okay, I saw some more comments from Glendilla. She said she uh, loved matting. She loves matting her pictures as well. And yes, it helped for me. Um, okay, so I guess you guys are just kind of quiet tonight. Okay, let's go over here. And I'm gonna ink, I wanna get out my eraser first. Got a couple of lines on here. Now, if you ink in brown, that's fine. This is the time to do it. If you need colored inks like Deborah and I do. These are Tim Holtz. This is where if I cut you up, I go back and tidy up because my um, dauber gets caught on it and I can tell where the rough edges are. The reason I like to do this is because the white core paper shows here and when you ink, that takes that white core line away and it makes it look very professional. I did a little crooked here, a couple little bumps. I'll trim off. Now, I'm going to decide if I want. Didn't I have any of that blue? Oh, I know where I have it over here. I want to see on this little piece we have left. It's got some little white dashes going through it. I want to see if my white pin will show up. Yes. Okay, that answered that. I got that one done. Now all I have to do is decide what color I want matted on here. There's green here, there's green in the stripes, but I don't know if green would look good with that. Might be too overpowering. How about a lighter blue? Since they both have blue. Well, hmm. He's got green on him, too. I don't like that. I'm going to cut it green and see what it looks like. But first, I'm going to do my blue. <clears throat> okay. Faded jeans. Okay. Laura says she likes how it's turning out. Good, Laura. I like the stripes Sharon on the, oh, now people are talking, yay. Um, on the arrows also.
I guess some of you had some of this paper laying around. I'm hoping that they do on this summer that's bright like this. Oops, I got a couple of bad cuts here. Uh, I'm going to start with just putting my dashes on the outside of the ring and let's see how it looks. I'm using a white jelly roll. It says 08, whatever that means. Oh, you can hear her now. Hi, Chrissy. She's really coming out of her shell. It'll be eight weeks tomorrow that we've had her. Every day, she's getting more comfortable with the cage she's in and us. And when I say bye-bye, today I had to go to a meeting um, for an hour and a half. So I said bye-bye. And the green parrot, he knows. He goes, bye-bye, see you later. And she's like, oh, no, what's that mean? And so then I took her and put her in her cage. She hates being locked in her cage. And she looked at me like, oh, yeah, I remember what that bye-bye means. It means I don't have my freedom. They don't fly around the house, they stay on the top of their cage, there's a flight pen, and they just hang out there. She likes to come down to the bottom of the cage on the outside, and it has, it's supposed to be called a seed guard, it's a piece of metal that goes all the way around the outside of the cage. And if they drop seeds, it's supposed to keep it inside the cage. Well, she doesn't drop anything, she throws it. So when she hurls her food, when she says, I don't like celery, and she throws it, it don't matter what kind of guard you got, it's gone. It's on the floor somewhere. You have to go with my little hand. I have one of those sweeper with a broom. I always think of years ago when we used to go to the theater and after the show was over, they used to sweep up the popcorn and everything before the next show started and the, what you call it? Ushers would go around. That's part of their job. Okay, now we'll have to have opinion here whether to have to do it on the red too. Or not. Don't melt. No, I love it on this one. Look at the difference between that and the other one. It's just like, voila. I smudged it a little bit. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm going to take this little arrow and try taking off pencil marks. Wish there was a way we could just leave our magic wand and tell them to go away. We don't watch it anymore. What I'm going to do with these, I'm going to take the back end, because dashes wouldn't show. You don't have to get as close to the edge, all the way to the edge. You can go a little bit out. It doesn't really matter either way. Um, This is our own creations. Everybody's will look a little bit different. I'm 
Okay, I'm ready. Start sticking something down here. So I don't use all these magnets. Stick this down that I just put the lines. Can't hurt anything. And I use my little square mounting tape. Pop it up, just like that. Try it again. Sometimes I have to stand up. That's better. Bit a bit a bit. Okay, that guy's on. Let's go back to see Jason. I'm going to cut the green because I have lots of this green. Let's see what I think. These are primary school colors. So if we were doing. I told you before I don't measure anything. I eyeball. I'm an eyeballer. People laugh at me because I cut on my lap. Uh, I told you I used to. I used to. Um, for me, the brighter the better. I like it. Um, I used to work on a TV tray and an armchair and my lap. And for years, I cut on my lap. And I used to, even as my husband was driving down to the Bay Area to go see the grandkids, I would take my cutter and paper and cut in the car on my lap. Coming along. Okay, there's my opening for my camera, so I think I can almost glue this down. But I think I gotta do this one first. So now we need to decide, dashes or no dashes. We can do black dashes, we can do red, da uh, white dashes. Is it gonna be overkill? Don't know. I'm gonna put this in without any dashes. Bring this down over here where it belongs. Let's see where do I have it? That thing. I can move him up a little. There's my camera. There. You know that's going to be pumped up. I think since it has the, the stripes in that paper, I'm going to turn it. Make sure the stripes are going up and down. Or do they have to be? Maybe they look pretty good the way they were, going that way. I kind of like them that way, just a personality. Okay, I got that little circle again. Where'd I put this? Little circle here. It is. I knew we would save that for something. Here's what it would look like. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to leave it up to you guys as to whether you want to do it or not do it. Dashes or not dashes. I'm just going to take my pen 
and go around the outside in black like I did with the silver on the camera and the uh, arrows. Just on the outside, since we didn't do the dashes on that. Black gel pen. The bird's saying, you don't like it? That's what we say to her when she throws her food out. My husband said, no, I like it. Okay. My little Move this all the way up. I think that's how I had it. And this goes all the way down. I don't know if this goes. Yeah, this goes like that. Okay, my husband must be heating up his dinner and then closing the microwave door. Okay. Now, the other thing I can do, oops, uh, getting ready to glue here, is I can do this. Doesn't have to be underneath there. Let me see that. See, it really doesn't bother me that it's over the picture, especially if I do it just like that, just a little. Because that's like a bare spot, I mean, negative spot. I mean, here's the important part of the picture right here. Okay, when I put down rings, Sometimes I have trouble, especially the big ones like this. Let's see these over here. So I do it like this. See? And I don't lift it off of. So many times I went to set it down and I set it in the wrong place and got glue everywhere. I knocked that off. And this is going to overlap this. So we're okay. This is just me, how I do it. If you're able to put glue, lift it up and put it back down, go for it. I don't have a lot of success sometimes. So when the rings want to move around. Okay. This glue only takes itty bitty, teeny weeny. Okay. Two said, Maddie, tape. This is cheap, 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 cheap dollar store. Whoop. 
tape that I use these cheap little scissors on because it's real tacky. But I bought it a long time ago and I'm using it up. My scissors get all gooey. But what I do is once in a while I get out the goo gun, if you're familiar with goo gun, and I take them in there and I pour goo gun on it. Gee, this glued so well, I can't even find the split on it. So I can move it up if I want to and just hide that split. I can't even see that one down there. Oops, I got a piece of the sticky stuff on it. Come on, here. Oh, <laughs> here I said to you guys, oh yeah, I like it to go over there. And then I glued it down. Okay, where is my... Let's see what happens here and show you how I do this. This might not work, but I'll give it a shot. I take my piercing tool and run it very carefully under the paper. Almost. Just gotta get it from this side. Ah, that moves, baby. Paper underneath is destroyed, but that's okay. Yay. Yep. Now I can put them up. Nothing you can see. Just a little. And that really shows the intertwining and un the under and the over of the rings. Gives it some personality. I'll put a little bit of glue there once I lift it up. And the last thing is our arrows. My arm wasn't in the way the whole time I was doing that. I just took this piercing tool and ran it underneath, put a magnet there to hold it down for the time being where the glue sets. Now, this is really a simple layout compared to Classroom. Okay, now we'll just outline it. Go in. It's starting to bother me. I can hear that guy talking. Oh, hi, Kathy. Kathy Lopes lives, used to live really close to me uh, before the fire. Now she lives, she lives in the same place. I've just moved further away. But we go to a retreat together at a um, kid's summer camp, a church camp, and um, quilters use it and scrapbookers, and a group of her friends started it, and um, not started the camp, but started the 
the retreat. It's so beautiful and peaceful. It's a nice swim pool. There is a fabulous guy there that cooks. And I remember the first year we went, he had been cooking all summer long for these teenage kids at the church summer camp. And he fixed hot dogs and corn dogs and mac and cheese and, you know, kid stuff. And it was our first year there. He said, ladies, I am so sick of cooking junk food for teenagers. I have a treat for you guys. Oh my God, I think we all left there five pounds heavier. We had tri-tip, we had uh, shrimp cocktail along with clam chowder. Uh, the dessert table, it was like going on a cruise ship, huh, Kathy? It was unbelievable. And it was breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And he had a complete salad bar. And we would just get our, almost get our lunch digested and it'd be time to go back for dinner. So the next year we told him, oh, can we not do the big lunch? Us ladies, we're, we go over and we just sit there and work. We don't get any exercise. Can you just knock that part out? So he said, okay, I'll make you sandwiches. Oh gosh, you should have sandwiches and salads and I'll leave them in the refrigerator for you. Well, the sandwich was big enough for two to three ladies to share. That didn't help him much. We finally told him knock off the lunches. We'll bring our own snacks. Um, but it is a beautiful place to, um, to go. Diane Wright wants to know, typically how long does it take for you to create a double page layout? I know myself, I can only do about six pages, six pages, three doubles, when I go to a, a day crop. Oh, a day, just a one day crop? Oh, I go to three day crop. And I do it completely different as I was telling the girls before, if you haven't watched me, I pre-make my kits like this. I, I get out my pictures, I get out my templates, I get out everything, and I design the kit, just like when I started, how I had the rings and I had the, the stuff. Um, and I cut it out, and then I put it in an envelope, and then I go and do the next one. It's very hard not to put all the detail in to finish it up, but I do, I train myself. And I'll take about 15 to 20 of the kits with me, and I usually come home with only two or three. Um, you can't, I can't visit and chat and design, although I'm doing it kind of here, at the same time and get very much done. And if you want to get up and go visit and everything, and then you come back and you lose your train of thought. Now I'm putting my pop dots along here. I put my black lines on. I wanted to point out to you, um, What did I see that I wanted to show you? Oh, when I was doing that line around here, see this one goes a little bit further away and then it comes back in. It's hand artistic work. It's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, so if you're start from finish, designing the whole thing and cutting it out and everything, three to four two page layouts in a day is fine. Um, I just like to go, besides that, if you pre-do your kits and you have your background paper and you have everything, you won't forget anything. So many times I would do that and then I wouldn't like the background paper and I wouldn't have it with me. Or you have to haul your whole craft room with you. When you haul kits, like I do, I take this tub right here. And they stack in here. This is a map that a gal made us at one of the crops. Keep calm and make pretty things. And they have our name on it. And I stack them in here and I just take this. It has a lid and a handle. And I take this with me. I take a picture of the layout on my iPad. And I take my iPad and I flip through. I don't even do them in order. If I decide I want to do a different one, then I do. Okay, so that side of the layout 
is done as far as I'm concerned. It's plain, it's simple, it's boyish. It tells a story. It's a snap up shot. And I did just the outside. If you wanted to, you could do the inside, but we didn't do the inside on the other one. So I don't think it's needed. Now, on the girly one, if you had a prom picture, you put one here and one there. I think that would be beautiful with flowers. And we'll go back over to that one a little in a few minutes. I'm just gonna quickly finish this one up. We'll move it over so you can see better. I'm assuming you can see it better from over here. Maybe not, maybe it is better over here. Let me see, because that camera is closer, huh? I'm gonna move it back and see. Kind of interesting. Oh, but the glare. Is that okay? Oh, I don't know what you decided on the green map, but that's what I did on it. Um, okay, let's get going. You know what, since we've done this, and this is just repetitive, How about if I put the girl one on and I talk about that one for a while? Because on this, all I'm gonna do is outline everything and glue it down. Oh, I don't have to take it off here. Huh? Carefully maneuver. Okay, watch this. In case you didn't know this. You can fold up your scrap and easel with your stuff on it and move it. So if you're doing a bo the boy one, just continue working on it. If you need me to show you the picture yet, I can. I'm gonna just talk a little bit about this and work a little bit on this one before I leave, because this one is gonna allow me to do a little bit more detail. Okay. I'm gonna put some color around this heart. I'm using crackling fire. It's kind of a burnt, rusty red. Because I want to show you if you work on a, a prom layout, how I detail. Okay, that's the one I had off center, this one I have over. Okay, put that down. So if I was at a prop and I had this all cut out just like this, and I had a picture of it, which I do on my iPad, that's how I took it out of the package today and 
redid it for you. Then I would just start working on it. I wouldn't have to think about it at all. Now what I'm doing here is I inked, but now since I have black, oh, quite a bit of black on here, this paper I'm not really enamored with that I'm drawing on. It's a cheap white back cardstock and it's um sucking in the the pen. You know what I mean? It's absorbing right into the paper. So it's not very it's not like good basil paper. You can still see the ink behind it. That's now how it looks. I'm going to do the same thing on this flower over here. This time when I do it, I am actually going to make a mess to bring my color further up. I hope this isn't too confusing if you're working on that boy one and I'm showing you this, but a lot of you've already seen my technique. And I know that like Kathy Lopes, she said that she's getting a lot more used to outlining and everything. I might change this flower now that I'm looking at it. I'll show you in a minute. It could use a little bit more personality. I think when I designed this, I didn't have my bigger See how great that tool works? I love that tool. <laughs> Wish I had some of that polka dot paper, but I don't. So, I'll see what I do have here. I might go with it. I'm sure I have a Kiwi Lane title card that. I'm looking for a print. I might have used them all up that color last week when I was doing. That might work. Might be able to squeeze it out of here. I don't know. We'll see. Got it out of there. I may have cut it off a little, but that's okay. I keep this right here because I use it all the time. I just took the one and a half inch flower, roll it. Roll it. Roll. Roll. See where I cut it off by accident, but it won't even show. Yeah. Just dressing it up a little. Let it set a minute. Whoops. Stay put. It takes a few minutes for this glue. It's not instant. Here we go. I'm going to take that crackling fire. 
or what's it called? Yeah, campfire, crackling campfire. And a little around the outside of that. Just lightly, like a dusting. Yeah. Anything you can do to dress it up. Okie dokie. Yay. Put a little glue. Put that right there. This guy's still sticky. I took that flat looking flower and jazzed her up. I looked at that as I was tracing and I went, oh, that's kind of boring. I don't like that at all. Okay, we're not gonna do anything to this. All my lines, I think I already erased them. Oh, and the back of this was really cute. It was black and white check. I had thought about using that too, um, somewhere on here. Um, because there's black and white chick. Well, not on this one, but on this one, on that flower. There we go. Let me take these flowers off. This is going to go together really quick because it's all cut. I'm going to take my black. Put on the outside. I'm not going to put any detail on this. Just hiding the um, hiding the pencil lines and the rough edges and the white core. Pretty hard on this one. Not the only way you would be able to give this one personality. Oh, I might have to try it. Is if you outlined it in white. That might be a thought. So I talk myself into this stuff. So to keep it simple. Not in my vocabulary. And that one leaf covers the cut mark on this one. Hmm. Okay, before I decide, I'm going to take my white pen. Got a mess going here. And on the back is black and white check. I'll see what it looks like. Hmm. Sorry, got to do it. You know, our flowers are so pretty, we have to have our leaves stand out a little. Just barely, it shows. I wouldn't say it stands out completely, but subtle. Let's put it that way. Kind of goes good because this has like a a graphic lines on it. It's not checks and it's not Lad. To me, it looks like graph paper, black graph paper. Oh, I like that. 
now that it's all in, it's really showing up good. And I'm doing it kind of rough. So it's not a perfect outline, it's just a light, subtle line. Okay, pen. For some reason, that one's it's plenty of ink in it. It's just acting strange. Okay. Maybe the other side. You noticed I tried it on the back first. If I hadn't liked it, then I wouldn't have ruined anything. I've already put this paper away. I don't even know if I could find any of it. See? It does show up. I want this one. Sit for a while. Being stubborn. Okay, all we got to do is map that picture and we're done on this side. And I'm going to map that on top so I can take this stuff off and do the same thing on here. that I did on the, on the boy one. So you wouldn't be able to do that with a runner where I put the glue on. Guy on. Remember this leaf here has to go right on that crack. Let's move this over so that we can oh, girls scoot over. Oh. I have it further out though. Glue. This glue dries clear, so okay. And the flower is going to cover that anyhow. This is going to go flat because my flowers are going to be three dimensional. And the cut on this. Ring was right here, and that's why I put those. Hearts on, because it hit it. Back to my sticky tape. Okay, throw some stuff away here. Okay, I think I have these two flowers here. Come on. I think I have those there. Or a pretty big one that we redid. Went right here. 
and I'm not going to pop it because it's got the other flower pot. And I have some down here. Do I have to go back and look at that picture again? Yeah, I think I have just this up here. Yeah, because I have them over here, so probably did. Oh, bye, Glendilla. How long did it take? Hi, Tricia. Okay, Diane. Oh, yeah, Linda does the same thing. <clears throat> I'm going to move it up there. Yeah, for some of you, it's getting really late. I typically go till 8. So I probably should be able to get both these done, but stay down. Um, again, this will be tomorrow up on the Facebook Play to Create page under events. Oh, I dropped it. Bad girl. What my bird would say, bad girl. It's cute without even a picture in it, huh? Okay. I have some more card stuff over here from last night project I was doing. So if I'm matting, which I do a lot of, I don't use my basil because it costs so much more. I buy my white and my plain white, my plain white and my plain black, what I meant to say, at Hobby Lobby, just they're flat. And I do my matting with that because it doesn't really show. Put this picture on. Now, I typically will get at least five to six pictures on a page. I usually don't do just two or three, but I had already done one layout with pictures similar to this with the mom in the picture and more close up, I think that they were. And so I decided I wanted it because I couldn't fit in the beautiful sunset. But for a prom, if you had a picture of, of the couple, maybe leaving the house and then one at the, the prom, one or two at the prom, this would be a pretty layout with the rings because it, oh, I thought I already glued those. Ah, I just stuck them there. Silly girl. I've had this paper for at least two years. 
And I just knew I was going to do it for my granddaughters. I just didn't know how I was going to do it. And I'm very pleased with it. About right there. I'm going to offset it just a little. Okay, so let's compare. There's a single one, and there's a single one. So this one would be just the same. I would chalk those and outline the hearts. Oh, thanks, Cheryl. That's nice of you to say. Hi, Tricia. So I'm going to continue working. Um, some of you have dropped off. Oh, Marcel, you just came on. Well, I'm going to be finished up the other half of the boy one and the other half of the girl one, if you can stay on. I'm reading Diane Wright's um, comment about going to a crop and taking kits also. It just, you get a lot more done, I think. Even though you ha have a lot of prep time at home, um, it's easier for me. It's easier for me to pull from my supplies Alan, then to haul them all with me. And I got where I was carrying everything but the kitchen sink. Every doodad, every bread, every, everything. And I used to even carry stacks and stacks of um, cardstock. And people go, oh, go ask Jenny. She'll send you a piece of cardstock for 50 cents. And um, I just got kind of tired of that. I'm switching, girls. <laughs> I'm going to go back and finish the last page. And the reason I wanted to do that is I wanted to really be able to compare the girl to the boy. I'll put the girl where I do with her up so that you can see how we <coughs> did different and did the same. Okay, so let's get back to it. This is the boy. Let me cut out these. We didn't ink them. We just went around them with a black pen. Um, like so. But crops are so much fun to go to. And sometimes you just have to be able to be prepared so you can get up and walk away and come back and feel accomplished when you leave. I mean, I had a couple of friends that used to come to crops. And if they got a one page layout done, it was amazing. They were never at their work area. They were always chit chatting with somebody. <clears throat> and they used it as a social thing. And that's okay too, if that's what you like to do. But if they would have prepared a little bit at home, they would have gotten a little bit more done, even if they got up and visited. We go to dinner, unless they serve dinner, like at that one retreat 
I go to retreats where we sleep in bunk beds, but the guy cooks us a five-star meal. And I go to other ones in Lake Tahoe where you stay in a nice hotel and they cook your meals. But one of our favorite crops <coughs> retreats is we go up to Oregon, uh, to Gold Beach, and they don't do any meals. Uh, the hotel, you get one of those breakfasts, continental breakfast, where you go in, you can pour some batter in a waffle iron and make a waffle, or they have pre-scrambled eggs, that kind of thing, nothing fancy. And then we share our snacks for lunch, and then we go for a big dinner. And we go to a different nice restaurant every night. And we're there for like four days. And oh, the seafood is so delicious if you like seafood. And all I'm doing here is putting black lines to highlight the arrows. My sleeve's getting caught on the arrow. Okay, it's gonna go here. Um, we popped up that other one, didn't we? <coughs> <coughs> yes. <coughs> go ahead and finish it up. Now where I have the title that says picture day, I said you could put the, ch the child's name. And like on the girl one, if it, you didn't have that you and me, you could put Bonnie and Scott or whatever the name of the two that were going to the prom. <coughs> this would be cute um, with a um, soccer pitcher or baseball pitcher. You know how they do the, the pitchers, team pitchers, where you get the all the team and then the individual player. <clears throat> it would be cute to do this side like that. And then the big one over here with a team picture. That'd be really, oh, I'm gonna remember that. I have that for my grandson's baseball team coming up. Okay, there's our arrow. <clears throat> Made a mess here as usual. <coughs> I decided to mat green, but you can mat any color you want. It would even look cute with white. There was green in here, green on here, green. So I decided I used a different shade of green and I used the primary for the red, yellow, and blue. <coughs> Use my inhaler before I started tonight, thinking I wouldn't be clearing my throat and having trouble with my allergies. I don't know how good that did. Okay. I got a little off, so I got to trim a little off the top. Just a titch. My sides don't equal. There we go. Oh, dry, just like that. I don't think I ever did take any water. Let's do this one. A couple of pencil marks.
Okay. <clears throat> My last arrows. All right. You know what? Oh, there it is. I was going to say, I cut two of those. How come I don't have two of them? I found it. Trying to figure out what the easiest way to do this is. Do all of them at an angle and then go back and do all the other angles? I think so. Just do one side of the arrow at a time. Less movement. <clears throat> Got those done. Much easier doing this and the cutting, huh? Okay, let's flip her over and do the other side. Boy, the bird's quiet tonight. Probably waiting for me. I usually at eight o'clock bring her in to <clears throat> sit with me to watch my TV programs. Mass Singer, Bachelorette. She doesn't have a favorite. I have to get these in. It's kind of hard, hard to focus on to see which one she missed the lines. Woo. Where the lines go in one way and those go in the other. Almost done. Missed one over there. Oh, I see. I didn't do this side. Here we go. Missed one here. I think I told you before, this pin I'm using is just a cheap ruler pin from Dollar and a Quarter Store. Oh, I'm missing these. Got it, got it, got it. Got it. Oh, well, now I gotta do the middle. I see. Did both sides, but didn't do the middle. Okay. Let's see, one I'm missing out huh? there. Oh, it was hit and miss for me. Okay, let's let her dry. <coughs> I have this one to do. A lot easier. Oh, yeah, Linda, I saw that you were going to be on and work with vintage photos. You know, I don't know if that would make me sad or not, because all my vintage photos, it, my whole life, my dad's pictures when he was a little boy, my grandmother's picture, my grandmother was a, photo, a scrapbooker and a photo taker on that side of the family and my dad and I had all those that I was working on putting in a book and then everything got lost in the fire. So I don't have any vintage photos. I'm starting, I'm, I'm all the way up from current right now, going back, re-scrapbooking all my grandkids' pictures and my life, you know, or Christmas and whatever. Back to 2014 when this grandson was born. So, is that right? No, when Cooper James was born. So, I'm going to be doing 
tons and tons of little boy pictures pretty soon. As soon as I get my cricket up and running, I'm going to be doing mostly baby stuff because <clears throat> I don't have any of those done. Okay, so we just chalked around the outside of this. Well, I'm going to try, try to join you, but it might make me sad thinking of all my stuff that I lost in the fire. I try to, you know, not put myself in situations where I can get depressed about those things. But then I look at all that I've accomplished with remaking them and I feel really good about it. That's why I work all the time at it. Hopefully, <clears throat> I'll live long enough to be able to get them all done and leave them behind, you know, hoping that they'll end. I know my grandson, he, I did a whole set for myself and a whole set for Sage over here. His were simpler. That's how I got started with Kiwi, trying to do two sets of two page layouts. So his were much simpler and I did his in eight, eight and a half by 11 albums. And I did them all the way up into the fire. And now I'm just re trying to regroup and get caught up. And so he will get the albums that I did of his pictures. So I just went around the outside on the other page. Since I was skipping back and forth, you girls are probably already done and I'm gonna be working by myself, but I'm almost done. I'm just gonna finish the two page layout of the boy and I'll do the girl later. I'll go have dinner. I left frozen stew out for my husband and a note and said, cook it. Eat it in the microwave. If he didn't come on at the beginning, I had to put a note at the back door. He was golfing. And he's known to come in and just start talking away about his golf game and chatting with the parrots and stuff. So I left a note on the outside that said, Kiwi live right now. So that he wouldn't come barreling in. And it was funny because he came in just before we went live. So it worked out perfect. Hmm. Okay. And the last thing is the dashes on this one. What's that called? Let's see if I can find the right pin that will do them right. Oh, I looked out. Oop, forgot to ink around the outside of this. It's okay, I can do it after. I can do these lines and dashes fast because I think I have told you before, I used to make paper bag scrapbook albums and sell them on eBay. And every one of my pages I think there was 16 pages to an album. All the paper, each one, had doodles, as my daughter called them, all the way around the outside of the pages. It, they were, they looked like they were all hand stitched. I did dashes and dots and wiggles and giggles and all kinds of stuff. So I'm very used to <coughs> doing this. I still ink on this from the last time we chalked, so I'm gonna have to re-ink it. I call it chalk again, ink. Okay. Let's finish this baby up. Let's see. This goes up here. This goes here. This 
this goes here. I can't decide which I like better, this or the girl one. This is pretty doggone cute with the stripes. <clears throat> so I have to bring this over here. Oh no. Yes. Gotta bring this down here to cover it. Oh, I think I hear Dick Fidel. I don't know if any of you watch college basketball, but he's got cancer and he's been fighting it. It's very well known announcer <clears throat> for basketball. His voice drives me crazy, but he's a nice guy. I think that's how I had it. We'll see. Adjust it a little. Push him over. Push this up. You know, I can put that right on right there. Look at hardly any of my dashes even show. And I can bring this. Down, I think I had it down. Yay, I like that. Okay, time to glue. I don't know how many of you tweak your your designs, but sometimes you come up with one design and take it apart and put it back together a different way and go, ooh, that's why I try to take pictures. <laughs> I can never remember how I have it. <clears throat> and I'll probably go back and look at the picture on my iPad that I'm right now watching the live, trying to communicate with you girls, which I'm gonna do right now. Love doodling. Have you tried looking on answer? Come to see if any other family members, etc., posted pictures. I remember I haven't. Oh yeah, no, everybody in our family is all gone. My dad is <clears throat> my dad is 99 years old so all the people on his side of the family are long gone except for my dad and my grandmother's sisters she outlived all them and they would have been the one that had the pictures <clears throat> okay i think i'm gonna go ahead glue on this. How do I know where it goes? That's a good thought. Linda. The day that my dad, I'll never forget the day he came. My stepmother and him were married. My dad and my mom weren't married very long. Maybe six years. My brother was six, I think, when they got a divorce and I was three. <clears throat> but he was married to my stepmom for 37 years. And they just kind of parted ways. The, their interest as I got older changed. And she wasn't interested in being as athletic as my dad was. And he loved to take cruises and go skiing and all that. And she liked to smoke and drink and hang out at home, I think. So they parted ways. They did their own divorce and got a divorce. Um, 
they've been married 37 years. And my dad came to my place one day with two huge brown Safeway bags with loose pictures. I mean, from the bottom of the bag to the top of the bag, loose black and white pictures that he and my grandmother had taken over the years. And he said, honey, I don't know what to do with these. Helene didn't want them anymore. She said she was done with our family. Do you want them? I said, uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> and I had started putting them in albums. I also had torn apart my girls' um, scrapbooks that I had done their baby books and redone them. But the way I did those was uh, they ran eight and, eight and a half by 11 scrapbooks. And I, if I took the pictures and rematted them, or I just took the eight and a half by 11 um, scrapbook page and put it on a 12 by 12. Let's see, I gotta scoot this over so I can hide the line just a little like that. Okay. So this one, this is, I love working with the Japanese because look at, I put that there and I say, that's where that arrow goes. And I just noticed that I forgot, I just discovered another line I hadn't drawn. Two. Hey, missed a whole bunch on this. I was talking too much. Look at that. Okay, put my little, Madam Squares. We're going to be done, girls. I'll have this two page layout. I'll be able to compare it to the girls. Not as much detail as last week with all that gardening stuff, flowers and all that stuff. The flowers were already made on this. I like this print. That was a kiwi. I don't know what it was too. It's kind of like snakeskin. Okay, so my little thing said that was number two, right there. And this one goes like that. You know, this is the first time I've used this laurel, and it is cute. I like it. I'm glad I used the green, too. Green <clears throat> gives it another color. Girl version, <clears throat> boy version. A laurel and a laurel, same size ring. <clears throat> A ring here, same ring there. Added some hearts and flowers. Did arrows here. Let's put the other one in and see how it looks. I had just, I told you, just these two pictures. And I said, what the heck am I going to do with these two pictures by themselves? I said, you know what? These are both from the same year, two different grandsons. Well, what do you think? I'm pleased. I love the bright colors. I love the arrows. I actually was going to put this arrow over here. I didn't realize that I put them both in the exact same place, but I kind of like it. And I like the way that these run the opposite of each other. I'll probably go and find another spot I missed, but overall, I'm very pleased with it. <clears throat> I'll finish up the girls one and I'll take pictures tomorrow and put them both up. And like I said, you can go on <clears throat> play to create and look under events and that in this uh, live you can watch from the beginning I think um, 
if you missed it, some of you came on, on late. I can't believe some of you are still here. Oh, Linda says, yeah, that's the creative part. It's never exactly how you started out. Um, just like the camera, I had no idea what I was gonna do with that camera, but I knew I wanted to look like the old cameras we used. This was kind of a little cutesy comical one. And then this one was more like the traditional. Oh, you know what would be cute? Is to take the white pen and write Kodak here. <laughs> you know, like the little Kodak cameras. Uh, there's also a little flash that you can cut that goes on here, but I did get it out. <clears throat> I don't know whether it would show up with this yellow paper in the background or not. Thank you, Linda. She says, Oh, yeah, my husband watched NCIS New Orleans. I've, I've been going back and looking at 911 Lone Star is how it's called, Texas Lone Star. What a good show that is. I've watched about six of them last night. I'm gonna... Oh, Deborah dropped out a while back. She has to get up at 4.30 in the morning to go to work. Okay, guys, I think that's it for I'm just reading what everybody had to say. Thanks for sticking out, sticking around and visiting. Linda, it was nice to have you with me the whole time. Oh, you do motorhomes, Linda. Yeah, we used to have a fifth wheel and we used to have property up by the Oregon border. <clears throat> and it, it caught in fire in the or during the Oregon fires in the July of 2018. And our motorhome, did, our fifth wheel didn't burn up. The clubhouse and the swimming pool, I mean, we lost everything up at the property. And uh, <clears throat> we went, with a sigh of relief that we dodged a bullet on that one, that we still had our fifth wheel. And then come no, uh, November 8th, the fire hit paradise and we lost everything in our home. And so that little fire that was up at our camping property was nothing compared to our home. <laughs> it turned out we didn't dodge a bullet after all. Okay, girls, I'm gonna say good night, clean up my mess. And I'll finish my other picture in a little while, and then I'll post them the other half. Um, I'll post them both tomorrow. Thanks for joining me. See you later.